A quiet retreat is all anyone hopes to go home to at the end of a long day. A place to escape the fast-paced lifestyle of monotonous work and same old, same old scenery. Unfortunately, creating a true retreat, a place to relax, usually costs an arm and a leg, right? Well, maybe not. Wanderlust traveler and musician Steve Areen was given the greatest gift and opportunity by a friend in Thailand, a chance to build a tranquil home for cheap. When you see the finished product and just how little he spent, you'll be tempted to follow his footsteps. Steve Areen has been described by the people closest to him as having quite the creative soul. He shared his travels from Iceland and to the Pacific Islands through a digital portfolio with his friends. Of course, all that traveling had a monumental impact on his life. His first digital album, A Bird of Passage, chronicled his wanderings around the world with all the friends he made along the way. One of those friends was Hajar Gibran, who lived in a home made of earth on a mango farm situated along the Mekong River in Thailand. Steve was enamored by the life that Hajar and his wife created, tranquil and remote. To Steve's delight, Hajar offered him a piece of his mango farm where he could build his own tranquil home. Humbled by the offer, Steve had a big decision to make. Did he really want to settle down? Steve, a musician remember, had no idea how to build a home from scratch. Hajar reassured him that he would help him through the process and that his son-in-law, a talented stone worker, would come up with the building design. Steve liked that. Unsure but excited, Steve agreed to take Hajar up on his offer. In a surreal moment, Steve, standing on his new plot of land and staring at the bare soil, projected his imagination on the empty space. Together, they decided to build a dome home. A structure of this shape has many benefits, one being that it's a natural shape and as such can better survive natural disasters. It also offers the best open concept floor plan for a small living space. First things first, they surveyed the land to measure out the proportions of the house and placed wooden stakes in the ground to begin laying the foundation. If all went to plan when finished, Steve would have a new 500 square foot home. Hajar advised Steve to use a material called aircrete, which is a lightweight foam concrete great for regulating temperatures. It's also malleable, making it easier to form the dome shape. On top of that, it's inexpensive, durable, and fireproof. The aerated concrete accelerated the building process. And within several weeks, the outer layer of the dome was complete. Hajar and Steve then built porthole like windows to allow natural light to enter his home. For the finishing touch, they capped the walls of his roof with a beautiful diamond shaped window, which created rainbow illusions that cascaded down the sides of the walls. They also attached an elevated gazebo, a sala, using bent steel and custom wooden stairs that led to the roof. After only six short weeks, the tangerine colored home, sitting within a grove of mangoes, was finished and move in ready. Steve walked up to the custom mahogany front door and opened it, leading to a zen oasis. Want to see inside? An open and airy living space is one of the first things you see. There's comfortable seating nestled in the porthole window with cushioned floor seats and a small table where Steve can enjoy his morning coffee as he gazes out the window at his water lily pond. The space accommodates a small kitchen adorned with shelving that holds local and cultural pottery he's collected. The wooden dining table and stools were hand-carved and light fixtures were made from wicker baskets. Oh, and the kitchen's more than just a pretty face, it's functional too. The refrigerator and stove sit beneath the counter to save space, so when Steve wants to cook, his stove burner, which sits on a hinge, swings out to countertop level. Continuing through his fluid home, the next area is probably the most tranquil space, the bathroom. Above the plywood waterfall sink is a mirror made from pottery and bamboo. The walls and floors are delicately decorated with various stones and pebbles. The real highlight of the space is definitely the shower, though. Surrounded by a jungle-like atmosphere, loose river rocks create a shower floor where water mimics the gentle flow of a stream. It actually feels like you're showering in the middle of the jungle. Off in a separate space is Steve's bedroom. His bed rocks traditional tie patterns that match the mango-colored walls. On both sides of his bed are multifunctional porthole windows where he can relax and write music while looking out over the mango orchard. On top of it all, located on the roof above his bedroom is a table-like deck with a hammock that boasts a remarkable view. Just follow the floating wooden stairs up to the private veranda and soak in the endless terrain. Altogether, Steve built this eco-friendly home for just $9,000. It cost him $6,000 to purchase the materials and build his house. And it cost another 3000 to finish the landscaping 
gazebo and interior design. But you can't put a price tag on peace and happiness.